developing story tonight. A family warning a mother gunned down in New Haven as police hunt for her suspected killer. Police consider 41-year-old Tremaine Poole armed and dangerous. They say he shot and killed 28-year-old Taiqua Nesbitt right in front of her two young children. Happened last night at Wilmot Road and Wintergreen Avenue right near West Rock Ridge State Park. Poole also wanted for allegedly shooting his wife earlier in May. Tonight, a reward is being offered for information leading to his arrest. News 8's Mario Boone talked to the victim's family at a vigil tonight. He's live at police headquarters with the latest. Mario? Darren, the twin sister of this victim, tells me the family has not slept in 24 hours since this tragedy happened. And tonight, they are begging for anyone with information to please come forward. It's just sad. I'm going to miss my sister. The twin sister of a New Haven woman shot to death right in front of her two small children, holding an impromptu vigil Friday night to honor the memory of Taika Nesbitt. And they deserve answers. They, they don't have a mom anymore. We got to fill that spot for them now. The 28-year-old affectionately known as Tika by close friends and family. She didn't deserve this at all. I just want anybody with any information to come forward for my sister. Give her kids some kind of leisure, some kind of closure. This young lady was such a role model to me. I fell in love with her um, from the first time my son started going out with her. A deep sadness hovered as they lit candles, consoled each other, and released balloons. Then Police Chief Anthony Campbell led a prayer and made this appeal. We are asking the public's help to get a very dangerous individual off of our streets. Nesbitt's murder now linked to the shooting of her best friend several weeks earlier on Henry Street. That victim survived, and investigators declared her estranged husband, Tremaine Poole, a wanted man. From our standpoint, this is our public enemy number one. And police desperately want to get this guy off the streets. Now the U.S. Marshal Service offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to his capture. Reporting live outside the police headquarters tonight in New Haven, I'm Mario Boone, News 8.